Over the last couple of weeks, coaching has been busy to the point where I'm coaching all ages and abilities, from juniors to adults, and there was one thing junior golfers did extremely well in their golf swings that I noticed very common, but adult golfers weren't doing anywhere near as well. And this thing was stopping adult golfers from initiating this lower body to begin this downswing, starting this downswing from that lower body. And when I showed them this one tip, this one drill I'm about to show you, they were able to see much more consistent golf shots and more distance from this. So we're able to finally get this club transition in the downswing, getting this downswing to take place from that lower body. So if you struggle with this, I'd highly recommend continuing to watch this video. For those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Harry, PJ Golf Professional, transforming golfers worldwide from the golf projects. And I'm available on Skillist as a coach on there. So whether you're around the corner or halfway across the globe, I'm here to help you improve your golf. And why not comment down below the tips or drills video topic you'd like me to cover in a future video. And if you do enjoy this video and take the tips on board, be sure to smash the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner and switch the bell icon to all so you don't miss out on any of my greatest and latest content coming out Tuesdays and Fridays. So the first thing we really need to speak about is the difference from the juniors to the adults that I was noticing that was that was allowing juniors to create this amazing downswing, starting this downswing from the lower body that adult golfers weren't quite doing well. And the first thing was junior golfers because they're little, because they're not able to generate this club head speed. They do everything they possibly can to be able to get that golf ball traveling as far as they possibly can. Starting off with a really, really wide takeaway very much like the tall players Tommy Fleetwood and Murray McElroy do they'll really reach out stretch their arms all the way out all the way up to the top of the swing nice and slowly really loading themselves into the top of the swing here great amounts of rotation with the back facing towards the target like this here lovely width between the hands and arms whereas the adult golfers they had the tendency of getting very quick very picky uppy with the arms to begin that goal swing. You can see the difference there. If I was just to do this here, so the juniors were starting off like this, and the adult golfers were starting off a little bit like this here, and then almost getting their hands a little bit too close to us, and then you can see there the lead arm begins to flex, my left arm being a right-handed golfer flexes, and we end up getting in this position here. This here is prone to this over the top this casting move because if we were to swing up to the top as adult golfers and do this motion here where the club gets very picky up you very steep in the backswing and we get into this position here what's the first reaction going to take place in the downswing well, we've got to get this lead arm straight we've got to get this lead arm straight to be able to hit the golf because if we continued like this we've got no chance of making contact with that golf ball unless we went really far down towards the ball of our upper body and that just would not look good at all. So what would happen is we would get to the top here and then we would push our hands away from us like this here to get this lead arm back to straight. But the problem is now we're increasing, we're pushing our what we call width of arc, our swing circle from very narrow to wide to begin this downswing and if we carry on from this position here and just turn, we're more likely to hit the ground first. So this is where, for those of you golfers out there, adult golfers think, I'm not keeping my head down, it's actually you lifting the body up. The head doesn't move in the golf swing unless the body moves as well. We don't go like this in the golf swing, we go like this. We jump up, we rotate round and round, and this is how the head moves naturally in the golf swing. So when we get to this position here, we go nope and jump up to try and make solid contact with the golf ball. But you can see that I'm not using a lot of the lower body to initiate that downswing. So I'm not gonna get any speed out of this shot. And this is what we were noticing, especially with those adult players. They were having to get this jumping up motion, which was limiting how much speed they could create, slowing down to try and make solid contact with that golf ball whereas junior golfers once they got this incredible load all the way up to the top of the swing really wide arc great rotation adding this pressure into the trail side they do something that i talk quite a lot about i'm going to dive into this topic later on in the the drill section of the video by the way is that when they get to here 
they'll really offload this lower body. They'll press into the ground, creating more pressure, this ground reaction force to take place. When we press into the ground, we're gonna get an equal and opposite force taking place. So they're pressing into the ground and they're pushing back up, keeping this lovely width in the golf swing and pressing up and through all the way through to finish. Loads of rotation, lovely wide swing, beginning from the lower body to start the downswing. Now the trouble is, as we get older, the fear of losing balance, moving our head in the golf swing, think simple things like this begin to increase in our minds, in our games. So it's really important that before we do anything, we get this body very loose. We get our arms and body nice and relaxed, allowing this freely motion to take place, this rotation, this extension into the top of the swing and getting this body to finally start to offload during this downswing. So to begin with then, we're going to be taking the club away for now. We're going to place our hands either side of our legs like this, our thighs. We're going to stand a nice straight line with our stance width still ever so slightly wider than our shoulder width. And all's gonna happen here, just to begin this motion here, to try and get this body to flow naturally in the golf swing, is we're just going to allow this tilting motion to take place. So I want you to think of this as the backswing here. So I'm stretching my right side, my trail side, getting this extension to take place in my core area, my side core area here, as I'm lifting my trail arm upwards. You can see that my lead side of the body is flexing and my lead arm is going downwards like this here. So imagine this is the backswing. And then once you've done this, we can begin to add in the other side. So the downswing and follow through stage. So now we're gonna lift this side up. We're going to push this side down like so. So when I start to bring these two motions into one, we're getting this extension in the trail side, then extension in the lead side. So it's backswing, downswing, backswing, downswing. Keep going until you feel comfortable getting used to this. And you could class this as a workout actually. I'm really starting to feel that in the size of my cores here. And this is a really good indication for you. You might already, just after doing a few of those, stay in nice and still realize actually, I'm not using the body of my golf swing. I can really feel this and that's a good thing. So keep going with this for me. Once we've got used to this now, we can take our hands back and set up as if we were to hit the golf ball. So if you're not too sure where this setup position would be, just take your hands and imagine you're gripping a club like so, and then you can set yourself up into this posture that you're looking for. Then take your hands back on, and now we want to be adding this rotation. So that first point there was the tilting motion. Now we want to be adding this rotation into place, but how can we combine the two to get this backswing turning like we see those juniors do time and time again. Well, it's dead simple. We're gonna be feeling this extension again going this way, but then we want to see this trail hips and my right hip being a right-handed golfer rotating, not this way. We're going to get it to rotate away from the golf ball. So it's almost like we're twisting this way as we're tilting this way. So hands either side of the thighs. I'm just going to lift my right arm up to get this extension as my lead arm lowers. And then I'm gonna get this trail hip to rotate away from the golf ball. And you can see there now from this camera angle here, as I do this motion swinging up to the top, you can see that I'm able to really load now into this trail side of the body, getting this back facing the target. Great amounts of rotation turning into the top of my swing here. I'm able to keep my spine angle on this lovely 45 degree angle, as opposed to lifting upwards like I see a lot of golfers do as well. So for the backswing, we're just thinking hip is rotating away from this golf ball. So it's going behind us as I'm tilting, continuing to tilt in to the backswing. So for the downswing, to keep things simple, it's just going to be the same motion, but the opposite. So now we're getting the lead hip to rotate away from this golf ball as we're getting this extension in the lead core area, side core area here. So the left side for me being a right-handed golfer again. So we're extending upwards and rotating to get that backswing phase. And then for the downswing, we're just doing the opposite. So we're getting this lead hip to move away from the golf ball. As I'm continuing to maintain, well not maintain, but swap sides with the extension. And the reason why I just said maintain is we're maintaining this spine angle here. So we want to be getting this extension in the lead side like this here. 
and you can see from that camera angle again I'm able to keep my spine angle on this lovely 45 degree angle and you're going to feel a little bit off balance doing this at first so make sure you have plenty of repetition reps doing this just to get used to this before we apply this next phase because we're rotating we want to be rotating and ensuring we're getting this lovely turn to help us get this wider arc on the way back all the way up to the top of the swing because without the rotation we can't do this we get this picky up emotion like i mentioned earlier so rotating back rotating through keeping this extension in the trail side then the lead side during the turn back and through in our swings before we do anything about this picky up emotion in the takeaway as we make our way up to the top of the swing using the club there's one more thing i would like to add into this motion so we've got this rotation and tilt taking place up to the top of the swing and then we've got this rotation and tilt taking place during the down swing but as i mentioned earlier the junior golfers once they get to the top of the swing after this lovely wide takeaway and rotating like we've just been working on there to the top they initiate this down swing from the lower body they get almost this trigger with a really pressing and pushing this force into the ground to get this equal and opposite force taking place as they rotate through the shot so one initial trigger little trigger i would like to add in for you here so as we get to the top of our swing we're focusing again this rotation and tilt up to the top the first initial move before we move anything else with the body we're just going to flex our knees a little bit and what you'll feel is as you flex your knees a little bit more pressure is being added into this trail foot here what does this make you want to do give this a try now just stand up for me if you're at home watching this on your phone just stand up for me do this rotation up to the top of the swing obviously work your way up to this though do this motion though as you're turning up to the top and then get this pressing motion and what does that feel like to you a lot of pressure is being forced into this trail side of the body to begin that down swing i know what you're thinking just there well hang on a sec harry if we're getting this pressure into the trail side that's no good we're going to be staying back on our on our trail side here we're not going to be able to get this transition to take place we're supposed to get this weight transferred onto the lead side but just bear with me here because if we turn up to the top here and then our first initial move is to get the pressure into the lead side of the body here try and get this transition this weight transfer to take place well we're pushing this force into the ground in this direction to add more pressure to get this weight transferred into the lead side the problem is for every force acting on a stationary object so for us it's being the ground there will always be an equal and opposite force acting upon it so if we're adding this pressure to initiate this downswing into the lead side of the body like this then we're going to push back this way and this is how we get this early extension how it feels like we get this what we call reverse center pressure moving this way leaning back struggling to get this hip fired on the way through because we're pushing we're pressing into this side to begin that downswing then as we try and turn we push off and away from the golf ball here so it makes things like strike harder to achieve angle of attack you name it which is why if you're finding at the moment that you're you can't get this hip to fire on the way through you're really trying hard to get this weight transfer and that's the reason it's not technically you it's just how you're adding this pressure if you're adding the pressure here you can't help but you're going to press and push back up this way it's just how ground reaction forces work so we want to maintain this pressure add even more pressure in fact staying into this trail side here now i'm not going this way you can see here i'm just simply i'll just show you from this camera here i'm just simply turning up to the top just like this here and then i'm just pressing down so because i've already turned we're effectively obviously getting this pressure moving shifting onto this trail side of the body as we get our way make our way up to the top of the swing and then we add this pressure we're just increasing the amount of pressure we're getting into this trail side of the body so what are we more likely to do during the downswing well if we go this way we're going to go that way so we're more likely to push off this way that's allowing me to really fire that hip on the way through get this weight transferred onto the lead side and maintain this 
onto the lead side as well. As I'm doing this, I'm pressing and pushing off that foot there. So I'm turning up to the top, getting this twisting motion extension in the upper body to take place. Then I'm pressing down, just flexing my knees. Everything else stays nice and still. And then using this added pressure, we're gonna push off this foot here to get this movement taking place where we're shifting ever so slightly forward and getting this rotation. You can see that my left hip now is really firing out the way as I'm getting this extension taking place in the upper body. So here's how this looks all in one motion. So we're setting up, twist and turn up to the top, then get the press and then push off and then we're twisting and turning on the way through. Take your time getting used to this. Do this in stages for a couple of reps. Up, down, push up. And then again, we're just going a little bit quicker. Then you can start to begin to add this all into one motion, nice and slow. Getting this twist and extension all the way up to the top. And then we're pressing down and then we're pushing off and getting this twist in motion here and extension to take place on the way through. Do at least 10 to 20 reps doing this before we move on to using the golf club. So that right there is how we're getting this lower body and upper body to free up in the golf swing. And that's gonna make things so much easier to create things like power. Obviously from this reaction taking place, we're getting the ground reaction force to take place in the golf swing. It's gonna help with accuracy because it's gonna be so much easier now for us to get the club in the ideal positions where we want the club to be traveling and we don't want this picky up emotion. So how, before we even take the golf club, I'm gonna show you a quick and easy drill you can do now as you're implementing this body movement into your swing that you can do to help you really exaggerate and get this much wider arc, this much wider takeaway all the way up to the top of the backswing, just like we see those juniors do time and time again. So what I'm gonna get you to do now is once you've done those 20 reps, just getting used to those motions and then building this all into one motion, you're going to take your hands and have your palms facing the ground like this here. And I'm going to push my arms down. So I'm really extending and pushing my arms to the floor like this. I'm not moving my body at all. So you should be able to feel a bit of tension taking place in your upper back here as you're doing this motion here. Keeping my palms pointing towards the ground. The idea from here now is we're going to get this twisting and tilting motion turning up to the top of the swing and we want to be maintaining this pressure. We want to keep pushing towards the ground and then away from us. We're not trying to push out like this or too inwards like so. We're just taking our hands back on this lovely arc here. We're pushing the hands keeping this pressure, pushing the hands and turning and twisting all the way up to the top of the swing. You'll notice I'm only going to swing up to this point here because this is me really exaggerating this move. My trail arm is not going to look like this when I swing a golf club. We can't physically do that to get ourselves into a nice position at the top. But I don't want you to worry about this. You won't get this trail arm to continue to extend all the way up to the top. It's too difficult to be able to do but this is a good exaggeration to really help you and force you to get those hands working on a much wider arc, a much more steady and easy takeaway, moving this all the way up into the top of the backswing. So before I mention what I would like you to do during this downswing phase using your arms, I'm going to show you what this looks like with the club. Again, we're getting this motion to take place up to the top. We're getting this twist and tilting motion to take place up to the top. And when I'm doing this here, I'm not forcing the club into position for now. Then from here, I'm adding this pressure into the ground. And I'm pressing up and through to target like so. So now we can add feeling of our palms being pushed away from the golf ball, all the way up to the top of the swing. So I'm not gonna get this picky up in motion here. No rotation taking place. I'm going to get this twist and tilt up to the top of the swing and really push my hands as far away from me as possible. And you can see that I'm trying to feel like my trail arm there is dead straight. I can't do it. But look at that position there. Lovely wide arc to then begin this downswing. So all I'm going to get you to feel on the downswing is you're switching the muscles off. You're switching the arms off to allow this downswing to take place. So really pushing and adding this tension to push the hands away from us like this here. Then we're getting this press. And as we're getting this press, and pushing off and turning through. And this is how we get this whipping effect to take place with the club. If we continue to stay tense, 
you can't swing the club anywhere near as quickly. It's not as fluent, so it's not as natural. We want this golf swing to flow naturally, just like we see the juniors do time and time again. So we're getting this extension, turning up to the top of the swing, and then from there we're pressing and just switching off our arms. And when I say switch off, for me it just feels like my arms are just falling. We're letting gravity take the arms down to the golf ball. So it's almost like you're feeling the weight of the club. Allow this club from the top to fall and push up and through with the body. You can see there as I start to bring this into a full swing, so extension turn up to the top, press extension turn on the way through. Adding this push off and we're getting this pushing motion with the hands, taking the club all the way up to the top and then through to finish, switching off those arms from the top of the swing. You can see there, this motion here looks very easy for me to do. And I can start to build this up into a full swing. So I'm just going to keep moving around, just turn it up to the top, down and through. And again, build this up even more. Up, down and push back up. And this is how it should flow. You can take your time with the backswing because of course we're still trying to get this added rotation and this extension. At the same time we're pushing those hands further away. But to keep things simple, turn and push away. So we're turning and pushing away to get into the top of the swing. And then for the pressure we're just pressing down, switching off those arms that we're pushing up and through to finish. Because you've gotten used to all those motions that we mentioned before without using the club, it's gonna be so much easier for you to implement this using a club now. So again, let's just build this up one more time before we hit any golf shots. So up to the top, press, turn through like so. How easy did this look? This will be you if you continue to work on this motion. Go to the driving range, hit 50 balls only, quality, over quantity and focus on this drill move here. Spend at least 20 minutes to begin with, just really working on these motions here. Then use a club, then do this in stages, get used to building this up. And then finally, you can start to hit some golf shots using this. Unfortunately, this won't pick up on the Trapman here at the Golf Projects because it's going through an update as we speak at just gone past seven o'clock here in the morning. So let's have a go doing this and see how well I can strike it. That felt really, really nice. Very easy for me to implement in my swing. And it didn't really look like I swung very quickly doing that, did it? I was really exaggerating this turn, obviously, and pushing off from the ground, turning all the way through to finish. And I allowed my arms just to switch off as soon as I got to the very top of my golf swing. So. For those of you who have come this far, if you'd like to see more videos like this one on how to start the transition, how to start the downswing from the lower body, make sure you comment down below. I'd like to see at least 20 comments and I will continue to post more videos about the downswing to help you master this move in your golf game. If you'd like to learn more about this, you may as well click on this video up top here. Make sure you subscribe as it helps me grow the community and I'll be posting videos every Tuesday and Friday to help you improve your game. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.